Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know I upload two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But now with that out of the way, I am back again in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. And I am playing on my new ROG Ally. So full disclosure, I have not played Grand Theft Auto 5 in a couple months and even when I did play last time, it was my first time ever playing, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But I know that a lot of you enjoy this game and I've got some requests to record more of it. I should have taken this car up here. Um, I've got a lot of requests to record more Grand Theft Auto V, so it seemed like a good time to do it. So I'm just gonna follow the blue line and do what the game tells me to do, since I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, the RG Ally, I picked it up the day it came out, which I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but was a little under a week ago. I was actually on a work trip when it came out, so after we were done working for the day and doing all our team bonding activities and stuff, I took an Uber over to the Best Buy and picked one up. And I haven't really had much of a chance to play it yet. I, I did record a video playing Minecraft, which should already be in the channel if you want to check that out. But besides that, I have uh, spent most of my time just getting it all set up because it is a full Windows handheld, so I had to get Windows configured and log into all my gaming services and I had just a bunch of little tedious stuff and I was traveling too, so I was doing it on hotel Wi-Fi, which wasn't very good. And yeah, so this is the first day in, yeah, the last, like, six days where I've actually had a chance to really mess around and play with it. But, as you can see, I would say that Grand Theft Auto V runs pretty well on it. I think it looks really good. It might be harder to tell from the video, since it's a recording of a screen. But it looks really sharp in person. The colors look really good. I was considering, like, just hooking the HDMI up and recording that, but since I'm playing on a handheld, I thought people would actually want to see what it looks like in the hand. I also get to see my hands for the first time. Why are all these people freaking out? What's going on? smooth. The fan doesn't really seem to be that loud this time. I know when I played Minecraft, the fan was working pretty hard, so you can kind of hear that on the recording, but I don't really notice the fan right now. And when I'm playing it, not recording, I never notice the sound of the fan. It's very quiet. Um, it's also really light in the hand. It's very comfortable. The controls all feel good. Last team standing, what is this? Is this like a death match? You are now on your own to trigger or join jobs. You 
can start jobs in various ways. Walk into the blue trigger select. Oh, I didn't read that in time. When you enter a trigger, you can choose to join a job or host a job. Join will look for other players of the same type to join. A host will zap a new job. I guess we'll try to join a job. I hope it doesn't have voice chat. the most kills is the winner. In last team standing, you compete in a death match against other teams, but you, you only have one life. I don't know if I want to do this right now. That's not very relaxing. You can use own weapons and ammo. You can purchase ammo. New job types will be opened up. All I have is the pistol. I don't think I should do out of this. You'll be considered a bad sport. You'll only be able to play with other bad support. Is that what that said? Yeah, 
yeah, we'll do that. Race is up my alley. Get some driving practice on the way there. If I, if I do own the game or it's cheap or it's a game I've been wanting to get anyway, I'll definitely try to make a video so you can see how it looks and how it plays on the Ally. And I also know the Steam Summer Sale is coming up in 10 days, so that'd be a good time for me to pick up some new games. So I can't promise anything, but if you have requests, I'll try my best to do um, to to make a video and get through things that you want to see. I feel a little bit foggy today. It's been it's been a weird weekend. I got back from traveling on Friday night. It was a long week too of my work trip is in Miami, so a little bit of a tiring place. And then I had my birthday this weekend and I had to unpack for my trip and do a bunch of stuff around the house, and then... Oh, nice, I get to pick a new car. I'll take this, this thing. But then I only got, I think, about five hours of sleep last night, so also a little bit tired and sleep-deprived on top of it. I was up late trying to, like I knew I wanted to record videos today. So I was trying to get Minecraft set up and it took so long I could not figure out how to get all the mods installed and working together. I feel like I'm back at home. 
the town I come from, a lot of people drive trucks like this with the big... Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. I'll drive trucks like this with the big smokestacks and everything on them. Probably not quite as nice as this one, but... someone behind me somehow, maybe they quit. Whatever. I hope that you come and watch these videos to relax and not for my gameplay. I think I've said that in a lot of my videos, but it remains true. Maybe when I become a full-time YouTuber, I'll get better at games when I have more time to dedicate to them. But I play so many different games on this channel that I don't really have time to get good at any single one of them. Plus I have to focus on this amazing commentary that I provide so that takes, takes away focus from the game as well. But I hope you enjoy it at least. I've seen a lot of people playing Forza. This would probably be really good for racing games. Oh. Wow, that guy just had to kill my momentum. Oh no, to that, oh no. some emulation on this because I've downloaded a bunch of GameCube and Game Boy games. So I think I might do Pokemon Stadium 2 next. I never played Pokemon Stadium 2 as a kid. I only had the first one. Um, yeah, I had a Nintendo 64 way back in the day when they first came out in the 90s. And I had it for years. And it's weird thinking back, I only had like four games for it the entire time I had. Pokemon Stadium, which I think might have been the first game I got for my N64. I had Pokemon Snap, which was really fun. I remember even my mom and dad got into that game. Um, I remember waking up a few mornings and they had un like they discovered new courses and stuff because you had to do special things to unlock them. So I have really fond memories of that game. And I had the toy.
Toy Story 2 game, which is really random in retrospect. And I had Star Wars Pod Racer, which was really fun. I downloaded the ROMs for that. I have it on here. I just haven't played it yet. And I had AU Pikachu, which I did not play very much because that game did not work very well. Let's see, what do we have for options? This Corvette looking thing would be cool. the only games I had for the N64 and I had it for a long time up until the GameCube came out. And then I got a lot of games for the GameCube. So I've been going back and getting ROMs for games I had and ROMs for games I never played. So I think I'll record some of those. I remember having a Quidditch game for the GameCube. I've been thinking about a lot recently. I don't think it's going to live up to the nostalgia, but I downloaded that. Yeah, let's see if we can do any better. This is, I think this is more fun than off-roading. Oh my god. I haven't played a racing game in a long time. Oh my crap. Do I have to like hit this? Yeah. Back in the day when I was in high school, I had a Xbox 360 with the controllers and pedals and everything. I used to play that a lot with the original Forza. And I remember, luckily, that... Oh my god. Came out right at the same time that I got... Well, I started going to driver's ed and... was going for my driver's license, I remember. Playing that a lot to practice driving. Not sure if it helped or not, but I did pass my driver's test on the first time. And I lived, oh my back I screwed. And I grew up in the Northeast, so I had my driver's test in January. Right after a terrible snowstorm, I remember. I'm driving around with my dad practicing before going to the test and like sliding through a red light because the roads were so bad. But I still pass somehow. I like to think I'm a pretty good driver. I'm really good at driving in the snow and stuff like that. Just when it comes to directions and sometimes traffic laws when I'm in a unknown place. Not always the best at that. I sometimes struggle with being in the right lane with like turns and stuff. But when it comes to just driving, I think I'm a pretty good driver. But when it comes to driving in Grand Theft Auto, I am not very good. But I'm in third place, which is... That's actually quite surprising. Oh shit. Gotta keep third place. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I'm still on fourth. I'll fucking catch up and get that guy back for that. If I don't knock myself off this mountain again, Jesus Christ. Crap. 
playing Grand Theft Auto always makes you want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. If that's on sale, during the Steam sale, which I'm sure it will be, I think I'm going to pick that up next and make some videos. I got a decent way into it on my PlayStation 4 during COVID, but I haven't, I haven't gone back and played it in a while, so it all kind of sucks starting from scratch, but that game's so big, I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be a lot of new content that I missed when I originally played it. again. Wow. Third place, not too bad. That's probably a good place to end it. I don't think the video's gonna get any better than that. was a bad driver. <laughs> Probably after my last one race, they paired me with like the worst drivers in the game. not have been the best GTA, GTA Online gameplay on YouTube, but I hope this gave you a little better idea of how this runs on the ROG Ally, and I hope that you found this video relaxing. If you did make it to this point, I really, really, really do appreciate you spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable, and if you find my videos worthy of your time, it's like the best compliment you can give me. So I really appreciate it if you're hearing this.